Hello everybody once again, this is Akua Kazoo and welcome back to more CLS1 action. So I'm just turning back on the BGM, so yeah, you can listen to some music, but it will be Lin going up against Flip Table here in Springwood, week 7. And we have taken a two weeks break since we were celebrating Christmas and New Year, but now we are right back. And Koji Kia, the captain and the adept, is going up against the smasher here, which is Ashla. The way attack is beta, you can see the linear rate EX. Waiting for the way attack here, look at that, Koji is way down to 52% HP and Ashla is doing well so far as Smasher. But it's a 4v5 situation nevertheless. It's caught by a nice time granite here, but would that be enough? Nice Ice Beam catching here from Koji Kia, it's a mixed infection. Blinks away in time, but gets caught by a nice bubble bubble timing here from Koji. And an Ice Girl expression will be on very soon I believe. Gravity Ascension is used well from... Ashla here, will you go into a time stop or will it be a well timely attack here? We'll be finding out very soon. The attack is, is baited here, but I can see Ashla not using that time stop just yet. Gets the meditation, gets caught by a magma wave behind the force mirror. In the end, the force mirror is a, is a shoe, it's a block. What's the name for that? Totally forgot. It was a screen blocker. Yeah, it was a screen. Preventing himself from seeing the magma wave from coming here and 3v5 situation now for flip table against Lin. As the captain, Kojukia the adept is doing well so far. But we see a Crusader, Matsumo 2. It will be a captain matchup here. Miss the tumble off the judgment hammer. Nope, he doesn't. Kojukia doesn't bite the bait. Shinbreaker is nicely avoided there to go into magma punch here. Dive kick is used well for mobility. Holy Relic EX is avoided as well, Kuchikia playing very calm here, is doing well so far as the captain, getting that icy mess to through as well, cancels the lightning zap, avoids the electric smite as well, the magma wave continuation here is on, gonna see the ice beam come very soon, you see the disease which is the poison grenade, the ice beam connects here, he's frozen, let's be careful of a hypnosis timing here, Oh, he's used off the shield charge but no sleep on Matsumo 2 as the Divine Avatar is used. We see the Judge power as well. Kochi can just be careful not to get caught by the Lightning Zero. Gets caught by the Judge Hammer here. Look at that, how much damage he does. He backs away from the Holy Relic EX. Yeah, gets caught by a nice Shield continuation. Will it be a Electric Smite to end this? Avoids the Armor Break. Place the Tumble. The Lightning Zap connects. Goodbye, Koji. Indeed it is as Lightning Zap with Judge Power on the attack will definitely take it away as Matsumo 2 goes into a sitting position here bringing his team to 3v4 situation but Gesture is always an accident here so will the Captain Matsumo 2 do well to bring it to a 3v3 situation we will find out very soon but Genova the Guardian for Lin is coming up straight away it's gonna be a mirror matchup here a Paladin mirror matchup but it's a Guardian versus Crusader we're gonna see which of the Arch class is better here in this matchup. It's the holy boat. Gets caught through the shoe charge. Justice Crash connects into Electric Smite, obviously. As right now, Matsumo 2 avoids the Lightning Zap. That is definitely crucial. But Genova does well to avoid the Lightning Zap from Matsumo 2, as right now he's in trouble. Missed the area range. I think Genova shouldn't wait too long because his mind battle up. Cancels the Holy Rally EX with a nice Shinbreaker entrance here. Doesn't get a stomping kick. Gets caught by a wing attack instead. As the block is up to buy time and heals for Matsumo 2. Even a Divine Punishment here. He has 32% HP left right now. And I think after the Alienware Christmas party, I've actually taken away my habit of mentioning the HP of players in TP. This is what you need to do later on when you want to comment it in official matches because you can't actually mention it, the HP of players as they can be hurt by players themselves in the arena. My Genoa 42% HP, his electric smile was actually countered by wrong, his justice crash was countered by a nice electric smile previously from Matsumo. He gets caught by the Divine Avatar and the Judge Power here. Right now he's in trouble, gets the stance of faith up, but I can see that's level 3 or 4 stance of faith. Toggle well on the Divine Avatar moment here from Matsumo too. Judge power, 18 seconds left, would have another about 10 plus seconds left. Electric Smite connects here, that's huge damage from the Electric Smite. Genova taken away there, as Matsumo 2 brings it to 3-3. Three, three. It's gonna be interesting right now as the, the playing field is leveled seemingly, but Matsumo 2 is down to 38% HP. And it's gonna be tough for him to take away another player. You see Ryu, the Illustra coming up. Gonna see the Elemental Aura. No, no elemental aura from Matsumo 2. Hey. 
The boys is raising swords wisely. He's gonna back away by time for the block to come up. Nice holy boat here, but no electric smite there as he was caught. Electric smite cancelled by a nice shot away from real. He's doing well once again. Based the area vision, he's still stuck in the poison spray. The ice fears the chilling mist combo is gonna be used. It's gonna be taken away. Indeed it is. As the Lestra takes away the captain from flip table. Who is going to be sent up next? We see Alex Star number seven. I think it's a sniper or artillery here. Definitely a wise choice to counter for the Lestra class. No, it's not. It's the Tempest. My bad. Avoid the frosting from the start. As real managed to get the ice shield back on, previously it was actually off. It's caught by the poison spray. See the icy step used defensively here to prevent Alex from coming through. The freezing field used defensively as well. The spray boost is on. Hurricane Hunts is avoided here nicely. Done by real, even with the firewall spammer here to prevent any incoming aggressiveness from Alex. That's caught by the ice spear freeze. That is definitely very lucky for real. The last try, the freezing swords goes through as well. Gets caught by the. The ultimate, I believe. Oh, a nice glitch away from real to Phoenix Stomp here as Alex Star is taking a lot of damage. Look at that, the flame spark is also directed carefully and even the freezing field connecting here. Nicely done and the freezing swords could be taking it away. No, but a nice kick shot EX from Alex, but Hurricane Dance avoided once again. I can see Ryu's things gonna get burned to death. Oh, he get burned to death here. Ryu almost had no more mana. So definitely very well done by Ryu earlier on. There was a well directed flame spark at the Tempest, getting the flinch followed by a nice freezing field to do a lot of damage. So Ryu is doing well as a Lestra here, but we see Seiki. The adapt here. Let's go by Frostwind. But the wax placement is good so far. Let's go up by a freezing sword, but a poison break goes through with the lag. But right now Seiki is caught. Gonna see the next Frost Wind coming up. Nope, the glacial wave is avoided. Wax placed. Well, Ice Beam counters the freezing field here as Ryu is getting caught. Level 7 HP, the mix infection connects as well. The bubble bubble, but no, he was burned to death there. As the Illustra has taken away, but I would say the Adept Seiki has taken quite a bit of damage as well. And he needs to take away two players, including a Destroyer. And Josephine, the artillery, which will be difficult to deal with, but Ice Palm and the Slime can be used as a counter against tracking arrows. But he needs to survive until then. But immediately the artillery Josephine is coming up next. Can see Seki buying time here. I don't think he's gonna get it. Oh the wet cancels the first tracking arrows. Definitely a, a lot of luck here for Seki to adapt. Poison break is good as well. Doesn't get caught by the angle shot. Nice bubble bubble there to beat the tumble. Mix the fashion connects. Ice pump is out. This is voice. The ice beam is cancelled there. Back one wave continuation. Josephine is low. 19% HP. The icy mass gets caught by the ice pump after he beats the tumble here. Could be, cru could be crucial. 5% HP and a Magma Punch. Seiki 2 winning streak here. Bring it down to the wire for Lin. As Tai Su 3 V2, the destroyer. It's a Moonlord turn destroy here in the league. As we allow one player to change their class. Will the destroyer be able to pull this off? He better pull it off because it's a 4v5 situation and it will be a little bit embarrassing if Lin don't pull this off. But Seiki is doing very well here. Nice mana punch. Oh, Titan Tree is not off to a good start. But I think mercenaries have the HP to take it. It slips on the wax, but prevents the poison break flinch here. Slips on the wax again. Needs to be careful. Avoids the chocolate waffle, which is the ring bombs. Ice beam connects his frozen to make my way. Forces the relief. As he backs away. Gets the iron skin up, the crucial iron skin. We need to see the wax come for Seki. It is, it is here. Backs away from the whirlwind as the bite on my thing. He, his bubble bubble is too late. Gets caught by the Vestrum. How? Oh. I would say, well, nice try by Flip the Table definitely in game one as we go into game two. And I would say a very good fight by Fleet Table, but Black Lake, which is the destroyer for the team, is not here today, which results in a 4v5 situation. So that's definitely very unfortunate. So Black Lake, if you are watching this later on, you might want to reflect a little bit. <laughs> Just kidding here. This is probably tied up with some real life issues, not too sure. 
but they need to pick up the game. I think Ryu the Illustra did very well in this game as well as the captain to take away the first player. But other than that, the other players need to do better, especially for Josephine. I think the artillery is actually a very good artillery, but it didn't quite pull off or show what he usually does. Uh, game 2 right now, with Lin having the lead 1-0 right now. As I definitely miss doing some live commentary, this commentary is indeed live, it's not a voiceover. As I'm live streaming right now, but doing a manual recording of this video, so the quality will be kept while I do a live stream. Because not everybody can catch the live stream. Well, people can actually watch YouTube videos as and when they want. So we'll be providing that. Kojika gets caught by Holy Relic EX from the start. Legend's mine! Look at how much damage that does. Oh my goodness, 8% HP right now. Taken away by a lightning zap straight away. It could be looking that flip table might push it to game 3 with Matsumo doing well. Previously, he, he took away 2 players. And he might just do the same. It's already 4v4 right now for flip table and Lin. And I apologize if you think that my voice sounds weird. I indeed have some. I think I have block notes or something. And this is due to lack of sleep. I think I slept at 7 am last night to do the 11 right? So. I haven't quite recovered from that yet. But Tai Sushi V2 is doing well so far. That's the rolling attack. Ring bombs as well. Love it. The chocolate waffle here into the whirlwind. We're gonna see the Millstrom how used right now. Millstrom how connects here. You're gonna be seeing if you can pull off a continuous combo. He doesn't. He needs to get a nice dash blow on the way. Attack. He doesn't use flying swing EX instead. But I think he can manage to cancel the block here. Avoids the judge hammer. Punishing swing flinch. Look at that. Nicely aim. Gets the flinch. But doesn't get a knockdown here. Avoids the shin breaker. Taunting and crashes how both baited. Electric Smile avoided! Guy getting Bomber avoided with the Divine Advance timing from Matsumo too. He needs to be careful of the one Electric Smite and Lightning Zap here. Well, it yeah, he gets caught. He tumbles too soon. Lost about 30% HP in that. Holy Bolt avoided nicely. Judge Hammer well placed. Lightning Zap connects here as the Iron Skin wears off. You're gonna be seeing a lot of damage on the Lightning Zap. Yes, I need to turn on my party info. Look at that. It's 4k per tick on the Lightning Zap here. As Tyson Shiv2 is down to 35% HP, you know, it was 25% before the recovering from the HP after you win a round. So you can see the power of the Judge power for Crusaders with Lightning Zap. It's crazy, it's madness, but the madness is not enough to stop Tyson Shiv2. As it's back to a 3v4 situation right now with Lin having the lead, as we see the Smasher Ashla coming out. Tyson Shiv2 tumbles to the left. Nice Vibe Blast to normal attack, doesn't get a normal attack here, the Poison Spray, unfortunately. Nina Red EX is good, taunting how baited, as Nina Red EX actually have some super armor even to be able to withstand. The taunting how as right now the Chocolate Waffle connects once again, Ashla became a Waffle previously, that is the Ring Bounce for you. Millstrom how used defensively, he's watching his time stop on the rolling attack, come on Ashla! I'm not too sure, maybe he does not have time stop or something. As that is definitely a very important opportunity. Maybe it does not need that. Back to a linear EX to the face right now. Could be good, but no, we see the time stop! I think he was trying to force the relief of some sort before he uses his time stop, possibly. That's what he is thinking in his mind. And that is definitely well placed, but this time the relief from Tyson 3 V2 to the destroy was not good enough. It's back to a 3v3 situation as we're gonna be seeing some good plays from Ashla if Flip Table wanna bring this game to game 3. Oh, but it's gonna be tough against the artillery. He needs to survive until the force mirror is up for that one times good opportunity. He goes in straight away. Void Blast is avoided. Chucking arrows to the face will be right now. Inner Red EX is good. Chucking arrows is out. Goes in strong. He needs a bit for the time dodge. He's not trying to do, but the time dodge not connecting here. The time is not connecting here to the laser cutter combo. Gets the freeze. No, doesn't get a flinch off the glacial spike, but a 90 to laser follow up is good. Spectrum shower. No. As the next checking out, we will see the Force Mirror come up soon. Avoids the Void Blast here from Josephine. He's doing well once again. Linear Rate EX bomb is well, but that's the error explodes. Times the way attack doesn't. 1% HP, 0% HP as Josephine the artillery takes it away. My goodness, that was extremely close there for Josephine. As Ashla was not lucky to get a Glacial Spike Freeze. If not, Josephine would have been dead off that Laser Cutter combo. So as much as the laser cutter combo is deadly with the glacial spike, it is still pretty dependent on luck there. As archers have that ur urgency trick to back away from the laser cutter there. As right now, Josephine is going up against the Tempest Alex Star Seven. Circle, circle shot is good. 
First tracking out is out, gonna see some iframes usage from Alex Star, uses a statue, gets caught! But you can see Josephine not being able to get, being able to get the flow up, the Hurricane Dance of Order as well! That's when arrow plays in a defensive position! Alex gets caught, goes in! Not so many getting his rhythm right now! Nice fire vortex off the spiral kick! And the kick shot EX there to recatch Josephine Tree. It's gonna be close, 2-2 right now. Between Lin and Flip Table. As the Tempers from Flip Table is doing well against Josephine. As we see a uh, Magician with FD, 175k by Ion Flexed. But real, the Illustra is going up against the Tempest here needs to be careful not to be caught by a Hurricane Dance. Spring Swords is good. Frostwind Avoider as well, but the Urgency Trick timing. Sharp Wave Avoider as well. You can see the Tempest just waiting for the Hurricane Dance moment. Icy Step plays. Defensively, look at that cancelling. I believe a kick shot to Hurricane Dance there. Not to sure if the Hurricane Dance was cancelled. Finding shot is good. Kick shot. Circle shot. Waiting for the Hurricane Dance, but it's slowed down by the Chilling Mist here right now. Frostwind is going to be good. Gets caught by the Divine Rage, Hurricane Dance! No, gets caught by Freezing Sauce to the face on a kick shot! Booming kick! Cyclone kick iframe used. I think Hurricane Dance was cancelled on the Freezing Field previously. 2% HP left for Alex Star as he could be burned to death previously. Freezing Field! Off that tune shot timing. Ryu definitely knows when to use his Freezing Field well to catch his opponent by surprise. And using a statue actually prevents you from seeing the casting animation only depending on the sound. So if your volume is not high enough, you will not probably hear that freezing field coming your way and you will be taken away by surprise. As so right now we have Seiki going up against Ryu. Nice game start once again, the freezing swords continuation, the frost is going to be coming very soon here. Voice save with a nice airdrop from the adept here. Sleeps on the wax, blah blah blah, it's a void of nice bling. Big infection is good. Nice magma tower here from Seiki at the moment. It's gonna wait for the ice beam moment from the magma wave. Gets caught by Frostwind. Him those timings for it as well. Poison break flinch is good by 7k only. Ice beam to the face, but would that be enough as both of them are frozen? Ice beam to the face encounter from Ryu himself. The chilling miss. Oh, he gets caught. 30% HP left. And the shatter hits as well. He's slowed down to a halt. Frostwind to stack it up once again. And the freezing swords take it away. 2-0 to Lin in the end. GG. Well played by both teams. And I hope you guys enjoy. The restart of KOF matches here. I definitely enjoyed this match between the two teams from Springwood. Thanks for watching once again. And look forward to the other CLS matches coming out your way very, very soon. God bless and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Hi, this is for level 1 all the way to level 50. This guy will be split into 6 different sections. I will first talk about the extra tips and tricks you need to know with regards to leveling. After which you can check out the 5 different level range that is applicable to you. In this section, I'll also provide information as to where or what you need to do to level as fast as possible, as well as other important advice.